Hello, and thank you for visiting my channel. This time, I'm working on a mini for Brendani, an Aarakocra rogue archer who rains death down on his enemies and takes the scenic route with his friends. You can buy powdered pigments for clays like this, but since it's an oil-based clay, oil paints work as well and do double duty as a conditioner to soften the clay. Rune has the coloration and features of a golden eagle, so I'm just coloring some clay to work with as a base for this sculpt. This is a piece of maple that I'm using to make his bow. Unlike metal wire and clay, shaping hardwood takes a reductive instead of additive approach, so it's a slightly different skill set that I'm usually dealing with for these sculpts. I wanted to make the bow a bit fancy looking, with clay or another softer material, it's easy enough to just etch some lines or swirls in, and it should be durable enough if I built it over a wire armature, but I stubbornly went for authenticity using hardwood to make this bow, so I had to go at it a different way. What do you think? On to the legs. I'm going for a bird-like shape to the legs, with the four legs bending kind of the opposite way than in humanoids. I imagine it means Froon skips around on land like a bird, curiously turning his head from side to side to get a good look at things with both eyes. and just a little touch here and there with the knife to texture those thighs to look more feathered. And we can bring that texture out even more later with a quick paint wash. Kroon's arms are going to be decidedly more humanoid in shape and function, but wings are coming too. I've been putting off doing the wings because honestly I'm a bit intimidated by trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to make them. I've, I've never made wings on a mini before, but I've got some ideas and I'll get them done. I'm a bit worried about the durability of these tail feathers. They're just made of some thin bits of clay extending out from the base without any kind of supporting armature or support. Crossing my fingers to see how well it works out. Either way, I'll be careful about not touching the tail feathers when picking it up. Facial scars. This would have been easier to do before baking the head's clay. I'm adding a scar or two around the eye and beak with a little persistence though it seems to work out even with it already baked. I've been wanting to make a mini with wings for a while and 
just fussing over in my head how to go about it. So, Brandani has given me the nudge I needed with his character concept, and I'm taking the plunge. By putting mirror-cut pieces of tissue paper over the armature wire, I can glue the paper to itself with varnish and not worry about how to make it reliably stick to the wire. I layered up four pieces of tissue paper to cut out four feathers at a time to speed the process up, and then I'm just sticking them on with varnish. After putting all the smaller feathers on, I felt I needed to take a more aggressive approach to the overall wing shape and started adding larger feathers as well. I liked the combined effect and was especially happy with it after painting the wings. Rune is wearing some leather armor. For the base color, I did the same thing with mixing in some oil paint into the clay. The clay got really soft and sticky and quite difficult to work with. I ended up mixing in even more paint into this, and that's why. On the one hand, that means the clay adheres very well to the already baked clay of the figure. On the other hand, it's way too soft and sticky for me to sculpt a coherent shape that will keep its shape when lifting off the mat and putting it on the figure. It sticks to the mat, my sculpting tools, to my fingers. So I turned the temperature down on my little toaster oven and partially hardened a portion of the colored clay. The unbaked bits work like glue for the firmer, partially baked bits, and it all worked out nicely. I used some of the semi-hardened clay to make his quiver and pressed in some wire for accents to make it extra fancy. And voila, I added a scarf. I just cut out a tissue paper and stuck it on and shaped it with varnish. I love how the wings turned out. And I'm glad Brendani's request got me to finally take the leap to try it out making wings. I hope you've enjoyed this sculpt. If you like what I do here, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Hope to see you again. Thank you.